to one and all. Hope you all are doing well. So I've actually just finished a vlog about my butter. Very interesting results. Please go over and watch that. I'm going to put that one on first, I do believe. I think you'd be surprised. So please go and watch that. Very interesting. Right, so going back to my coat giveaway. <laughs> oh, I've ended up having quite a lot of names. So what I've done is written all your names Written all your names down. Now these are the only people that have emailed me, yeah? I, I know there's some comments and I've tried to tell people, please email me, go over and email me. I, I, I can't get your names from the comments. So if you email me, I'm going to be actually now taking names. I'll go into that. So I didn't expect such a massive response. I'm guessing I might even have about 100 there. <laughs> I never thought I was going to have such a massive response. And to start with, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, of course you can have it. Thinking in my head, yeah, yeah, you can have it. Next thing I get another message and then I'm like, oh, okay, um, yeah, you can have it. And, I, and then it got to the point then I wanted to give it to everybody. I really wanted to give it to everybody. And everybody is so worthy. So I don't want anyone to feel like they're not worthier than the next person. So if it had only been about five or seven of you, I probably would have just picked one. But because now there's about a hundred, <laughs> I thought, do you know what the easiest way is then? So everybody is as worthy as the other person. No one's, it didn't matter what your story was, what your situation is, or why you wanted it. It meant everybody gets the opportunity to receive this. So what I've decided is to do is write all your names down. I'm going to cut them all out and put them into some kind of a hat, so to, in a hat, so to say, you know. But I'm actually now, because I've had such a big response and I'm still getting them as of speaking today, I'm going to give it an, another day or two just to see, um, which bear in mind now though, actually, this video ain't going to go on for another, it ain't going to go on tonight, it'll be going on tomorrow, which will be Sunday. This video is going to go on Sunday. So I'm going to say probably Monday morning then. Oh, excuse me. I do apologise. I've just been eating toast and butter. Um, um, yeah, I'll give it to Monday morning after this weekend and then we'll call it a shut off then because the, the names are getting far, far. But quickly get your name down and don't think to yourself, and please don't think to yourself, I've got no chance. You know... <sighs> Everybody has the same chance as everybody else, basically. No one has five more chances and that person has only one chance. Everyone has the exact same chance. I'm trying to make it fair. So, like I said, if it had been only sort of seven of you, I might have just picked one, you know. Um, but being this amount, I feel like, no, it's I can't pick one. I wish I had 100 coats. <laughs> I do, I do. But... Um, but as you know with me, I'm always sort of trying to do giveaways and giving back to my viewers. I always am. Every now and again, I'll come up with something and stuff like that. So you just never know. And also, you never know, this competition might even get, might even get a little bit better anyway. Right, so, well, no, it's not a competition. I hate saying that word. It's not a competition. And it's not even sort of, I'm just giving it away to somebody that was actually just going to technically text me and say oh I'd love that and I was just going to turn around and say yeah of course going to a good home you know so it's not a, it's not a competition not at all there's you know no one's competitive here so to say and no you don't have to like and subscribe my video you know that, that's just ridiculous you know if you want to do it yeah I appreciate it but no you don't have to do any of that I just would like to give it to somebody that would appreciate it so please keep getting your names in i'm gonna say like i said till probably monday morning and then i usually start vlogging in the morning and then that's when then i can get them cut up and put them in the hat which i'll do on a one video sort of so so to say one video one clip on it the video so everyone knows then that there's no cuts it hasn't been cheated and no one's sort of being sort of picked over the other one because it ain't going to happen i don't do things like that right anyway so moving on today yes i've been eating tiny little bits of toast and butter talking of dinner oh dinner last night went down the tree that was fantastic dan said this morning it was a bit salty but that's not my fault that's smoked bacon for you isn't it yes yeah, that's smoked bacon for you i've actually got one left over i said to him he left it 
So I said, you ain't throwing that away. I'm going to have that a bit later on. It's nice and sort of cool in here this morning because I can't put the heating on. It keeps tripping. It's already tripped about four times today because we're charging this big bad boy up. So um, somebody said to me, forget your name. <laughs> butter or something. I think it was like Butterum or something. Um, asking me why was I using these. Well, because we weren't technically using these straight away. And it would have been easier just to then pop them into the mic and they all steam inside. And it's just fancy, isn't it? It's a Friday night fake away. Just a posh way of sort of dishing up some food. He also said, butter, did you not put no butter on there? These weren't his words. And no, no, Dan don't like butter. You don't need butter with something like that. There's enough grease and sort of flavours and fat and stuff like that going on in there anyway. You don't need butter, honestly, trust me. If, you, if you're one of these that have been in a habit of just putting butter on it, everything and everything, try and get out of that habit. I used to be the same years and many, many years ago. And literally now, even with a sandwich, I don't even butter my, like my tuna sandwich the other day. I don't butter the bread. I've got, I've gotten out of that habit now and you don't need to because the wetness is inside. Yeah, it's just a bad habit we all get in ourselves into. I think it's the way we've been brought up. It's just what we used to do. All right, Dan's picked his dinner today, so we're back on the rubbish dinners. Now, when I say rubbish, somebody had picked me up on this as well. I'm not saying all food's rubbish because she was trying to say it's all in proportion. That's not what I'm saying at all. We're not talking about diets or anything. When I say rubbish, I'm talking about Dan eating like rubbish out of there. And now, when I mean in there, I mean like smiley faces, rubbish in there, you know, uh, chicken nuggets and stuff. I'd rather cook him, what I call then a sort of a proper dinner would be then, <laughs> so to say a proper dinner is something homemade-ish like a taco or something or a shepherd's pie. To me, anything in that freezer, all the dinner, all the dinner on the plate coming out of the freezer to me is, is rubbish. <laughs> it is. But anyway, he's back to rubbish meals now this week. So he's actually chosen his one today. Grill House, these are actually from Iceland. He's never had these before. I'm not sure if they're new. Now it says cook from frozen for five to five, 5.5 5 minutes. I'm not cooking them now. So what you get is a bag of chicken kebab meat. Uh, two what looks like, they're not really pitters are they? They look more like a bit of a small naan bread or something. I'm guessing this is your garlic galioli sort of a sauce. So I'm surprised you don't get a chilli one in there, actually. I do wonder if he's now going to want vegetables added to that, like a bit of red onion and stuff. He probably won't. <laughs> so I've taken them out of the freezer anyway because I think to defrost. I'm going to actually cook that in the frying pan. It says you can cook that in the frying pan. Yeah, yeah, you can microwave it, but I think in a frying pan would be nicer. Um yeah i think that's the only two things they're suggesting anyway a frying pan or a microwave but let's be real you can put it in the oven or the air fryer anyway it, i know it doesn't say it on the backs of these it doesn't always always say but don't think to yourself oh i should i could have put that in the micro still put it in or put it in the air fryer just because it don't say it on the box trust me <laughs> right so he's opted for a second thing and there's a third thing as well but i've left that in the freezer they're like chicken no, not chicken, mozzarella, jalapeno poppers kind of thing. So they need to stay frozen. I'm going to put them in the oven. I'm going to put them in the oven with this, actually. So this is then four chicken shish kebabs with yogurt and mint sauce and mango chutney. Oh, I do like a bit of mango chutney. So there we go. That just comes like that. So I'll take the sauces out, get them sort of defrosting, so to say. Yeah, I'm not cooking this for a while. He wants to watch um, footy today, which I think is on at 12 o'clock. Which I hate it when footy is on at that early because it kind of spoils the day. The whole day just shuts off, you know. <laughs> but never mind, he gets to watch what he wants to watch. Now, if it wasn't for this being left over, I was actually going to... It's very rare I like a bit of pasta. Very, very rare. But I was actually going to have a bit of pasta, which I'm not now because I'm not wasting food. So, I buy, when I have pasta, I buy this. I've always bought the same two items every time, if I have pasta. It's very rare, like I said. 
So I always buy the cheese sauce and the penne. Now I, like, I do like the fresh, fresh stuff. And it's just like a little cozy bowl of goodness. <laughs> I don't know why I fancied that actually. I just, I just did. Very, very rare I do, but I did. I have actually been craving, um, that's for another day actually. That's a top secret. That's a family top secret ingredient for something I want to make. It's not my family top secret. Uh, what was I going to say there? I forgot what I was going to say now. Um, yeah, I have been fancying tacos, but I'm going to have to wait a while because we need to sort of clear out the freezer for a bit anyway. Oh, my video's ready to upload. I've been editing as well this morning. Um, here we go. But yeah, quite enjoyed dinner last night. Sorry, I'm just on the laptop sorting my stuff out. There we go. Upload. There we go. I'm actually staying in my pyjama bottoms today just because I want to stay cosy. <laughs> well, it's because it's cool in the day short today. But anyway, I'm going to put my coat on. I'm going to pop out and see Dan. I've been in all the morning. Well, it is cold out there, so I'm going to put my heated jacket on. <laughs> oh, actually, that's something about jackets. Oh, that ain't run out, is it? I didn't hardly have that on yesterday. No, it's on now. Yeah, I didn't have... I just wanted to see how I can wash this dry robe. I was laying in bed last night and I thought, maybe that has to be dry cleaned. I hadn't thought of that. Because I don't even know if that's going to fit in um, the washer down there. And it'll have to go in there dryer as well. Because it's quite big. Let me just check the instructions on this. Now, I've had so many people, bless you all, <clears throat> I've had people offer me money for it, which I don't want. I've had people say, if you pick me, then I'll donate to... Some, loads of you actually said this, that I'll then donate to a charity of your choice. But loads of you say that. Um, which I don't want you to do that either. Keep your money. You know, we're all struggling in these times and days. I know giving to charity is lovely as well. But just keep your money. You know, you'll, you'll need it for a rainy day. You know... Anyway, let me just, and what else did I have? Oh, loads of you then that knew me and been, they said they'd even come and pick it up because they're, they're coming to Skegness and things. And it just, oh, it just, I just feel awful. I wish I had more. Well, I need to know how to wash this. Mmm. I don't know if you can wash this. I'm gonna have to do some research on Google. Oh, ha oh no, hold on, it does say on the label. Hand or machine wash separately on a delicate cycle in a warm water. Use mild detergent, rinse well, do not dry, do not dry clean. Do not bleach, hang, hang to dry. Do not tumble dryer. Oh no, I've gotta hang this to dry. And do not iron, obviously always dry after use oh that's a pain in it oh so i've got to dry clean that the only reason why i'm actually having to really dry uh, wash this is because i've got a bit of makeup just sort of bit of makeup you know where it's gone up over my neck well anyway i've got to do what i got to do so i can't actually what i will have to do then what i'll do is hang that up when i dry that uh, wash that sorry I'll hang up then in the shower and have this humidifier on that that should get it going did I show you this now can anyone tell me this arrived yesterday we have actually flogged this on the travel trials when I opened it I was absolute in complete shock this is the pea in the pod that Dan tried winning me on holiday I have no idea where he's come from at all if, if, if it was you, please let me know. Oh, I'm getting a warm back. My jacket's getting all warm now. But I was astounded and I was ecstatic and I was so happy. And I had lots of cuddles with him last night as well. So thank you very much if it was you. I don't know where it came from. I don't, I don't know. Could have been the hotel for all we know. I don't know. But yeah, please let me know because I'd love to say thank you. Did they just score? Did they score? 
I think they might have just scored. Right, so I'm about to start dinner. Um, I say start, I've got my dressing gown on because I'm a little bit chilly. I say start, what I'm gonna do is pre-make it <laughs> because Dan's watching footy. Yeah, it's cold in here. We've got the heating on, but we could put the dehumidifier on today. Right, so I've got my hot pan on the go down there and it's going to be served in takeaway boxes today it's just so much easier it really is it really gives me a break from the having the pile of washing uh washing up in the morning right so in this kit you get two of these which don't look like pitters I don't really know what they are so i'm going to open those up i've got all the sauces out ready defrosted I've got stuff in the oven, which I'll go into in a minute. That's my dinner, leftover Mazzy McMuffin. And I put, I just put actually just now, a couple of um, hash browns. Do you know, I can never remember those names. Hash browns, just a couple, three I think. Probably won't eat them. Woke up this morning, one of them were on the floor next to my bed, all smudged into the carpet. I must have dropped one. <laughs> I don't know. Right, so let's bring you. So why have I got the kettle on? I forget why. Oh, the kettle. I was gonna properly do the sauces properly, weren't I? So what I'm gonna do is put all the sauces into the cup as they recommend. <laughs> they are all actually defrosted. Now that's mango chutney. Hmm. I thought that might have been nice, but that's. I'm funny. I'm funny. Trust me, I'm a little bit funny and they don't look like the mango chutney I would like. Maybe it's nice, I don't know. So let's just put a little bit of water in there. It's too hot. Maybe I shouldn't have done it like that. But anyway, let that sit. Like I said, this pan now has been on full whack. Let's turn that down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just brown these off. I'm pre-making this. If Dan wants it now, it's up to him, in it? No, I do wonder if you can cut them up inside, you know, like a pit of bread. I'm just gonna do these dry. And that's it, that's your kit. A couple of sauces, two of them, and a bit of doner kebab meat, which don't particularly look like doner kebab meat, but we'll give it a go. So once this is done, I'm going to see if I can actually open those. And if I can, then I can poke the meat inside. And then maybe I can sneak a little bit of lettuce on top as well. A little bit of healthiness. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know if I can actually open these yet. I think I might be able to. So this is just a dry frying pan. Find a sharp knife. Let's see if we can get inside that. Oh, I've got a clean tea towel, but I don't know where my kitchen towel is. I'll be fine. Oh, that's hot. It's hot. I'll dump you in there. Let's see if we can actually get inside. I think it is kind of like a pitter, actually. It is. It is. Right. Now, this only actually came with like, a, I want to say like a garlic -y sauce. It didn't come with the chilli and Dan likes the chilli. But the chilli sauce I'd bought in from Amazon was probably a bit out of date. So I've, that's been dumped in the bin. So I've got no chilli sauce for him. Yeah, it's like a kind of pitta. I think I've ruined that actually. <laughs> But anyway, I want to get the breads done first. Just chopped up a little bit of lettuce. Just a little bit. Let's see how that goes down. So this is done. Definitely done. So, do I need a little bit of oil with that? About to cook the actual meat. Just do a tiny bit. It's quite a lot actually. <laughs> Uh, let's get this out. Alright, can you see? 
see? Can you see what's going on? My hob is on the wonk, so everything sort of slides, slides to one way. Okay, it smells nice. Would I say it smells like Donna? No. I think it's meant to be Donna, isn't it? So apparently this only takes five minutes to cook. We'll see about that. Alright, this is back in there. Let's open this one. Yeah, it's a shame I don't have no chilli sauce, but hey ho, you know. Now growing up, also, my dad used to do us, not this kind of pita bread, but normal kind of pita bread. We used to often have that as a tea. Pita bread with homemade chips inside as well. That was a lovely, lovely meal and a memory I have. Let's turn this heat up. Yeah, using these takeaways. Oh, I think, I think they've scored. I think they've scored. Using these... Using these takeaway containers are going to be so handy. <laughs> Get in there. I don't even know what this is. Is this chicken? I, I really don't know, even know what kind of meat this is. I have no idea. Just going to check on the oven bits. They ain't been in long, so I don't expect any bits. So these are the kebabs. Ow! <laughs> these are the kebabs. Mmm. They don't look fantastic, do they? But I don't know. Um, let me just get some tongs. I need some tongs. These are Dan's jalapeno bites. Move them to the front. And I put three hash browns on for me. Maybe I'll only have two and I can give Dan one. So we've got some kind of potato substitute. But they haven't actually had long in there anyway. So oh, I feel like I'm planning to be reheating all this. <laughs> so I can't see Dan eating this yet. how this is going to stretch to two of those pizza breads but we'll see we'll see so going back to the sauces this came with this I feel like this might be like a garlic mayonnaise but I'm not entirely sure that's all done the mango chutney and the mint sauce came with the other kebabs in the oven and this chili one she came with the uh, mozzarella jalapeno bites so I might actually put a little bit of that on Dan's kebab we'll see all right so it's going to be nearly time to sort of dish up you can eat it or not eat it or I can reheat it so it doesn't matter right, let's get some of these opened going to say that that's done it's not a tremendous amount of meat but let's go with it let's try and split this in half 
maybe it might be once it's in the um, pita breads. Do you know what I feel like I'm going to maybe make no no I was gonna make one big one but never mind all right let's put some sauce on I don't know what it is but it's on there <laughs> let's put some chili that smells nice actually that smells really nice let's put a little bit of lettuce on go stick that in a box <laughs> takeaway container so that's one donna kebab or whatever it is <laughs> done so, shut that up let's do the second one heat off but I hadn't there we go job done let's put some sauce on that look great do they I mean maybe they're tasty I don't know that should prepare me to wash the pan right I'm gonna wrap these boxes up in foil keep them hot as hot as I can Reheat my Mazzy McMuffin. So, this is Dan's. <laughs> it is what it is. There we go. One portion of that. He's got two kebabs over here. And let's put some of them in for him. Oh! That one's broke. Oh no, that one's broke. So I'm going to try and squeeze them in the corner so I can actually add a little bit of the chilli sauce, which I think he might like actually. I'm getting hungry and tired now. So looking forward to this. So that's dinner. So the kebabs did actually come with this sauce, but it looks like it's gone a bit, um, what's that word, separated and stuff. It don't look very nice, so I've left that. I don't think he'll enjoy the mango chutney. So there's the kebabs, mozzarella, jalapeno bites and two kebabs. What more does a man want? Are you hungry or starving? Starving! <laughs>